Hello everyone welcome back to yet another episode of Silhouette Pain Masterclass in today's episode we are going to do some wire removal or rope removal or whatever name you guys are calling this task using some simple tricks inside silhouette i'm pretty sure most of us hates doing wire removal work because it's kind of complicated or in other words i would say it needs a lot of manual effort that's why these tasks are generally called as manual painting but there are few settings inside silhouette which might or which can definitely help you to ease your work little bit we are going to see that in this tutorial so this is not a tutorial for wire removal but specifically where we are going to paint out wire using this simple trick so let's jump into the tutorial so here we have the footage and it's not that difficult why because it's just 20 frames if you have like hundreds of frames for this shot then this shot will definitely look complicated so if you guys would have watched my last tutorial we can paint out this using clone tool here we have clone tool and all the properties right over here we can definitely use this offset option to paint this out just like the last tutorial by the way if you guys missed watching my last tutorial please go ahead and watch that before jumping into this one because i have covered basics in that tutorial so yep so just a disclaimer i can go into the first frame here i'm going to remove this wire in the third frame i have the source of this brick go into the first frame and just type in three and uh, now just manually match the transformations so the not so beautiful thing in this shot or in this kind of work is just matching the transformations of frames which we offset it here i have used third frame so let's paint it and see how it looks like it looks decent but obviously we have to match the reference frame in every single frame if the plate have perspective changes and all then that's going to be a bit difficult for you but here we can use one cool trick inside silhouette it definitely helps a lot to match the reference frame automatically how to do that it's very simple so just go into rotor node and uh, you can see this is not that uh, complicated camera movement so i will just use maybe a two point track basically we have to track the footage let's add a point right over here let's see how the track looks like cool so definitely look pretty decent to me so let's move on to some other areas maybe i will use mocha tracker for this area you can simply click on preview button to see if you have anything specifically or definitely you can check the channels as well just turn off the preview button and uh, red channel green blue so here we have a point let's give it a try not sure we will be successful but uh, let's give it a try track forward so it looks quite decent to me as this is just a tutorial i'm gonna think it's a perfect track and uh, let's apply this tracking data into this layer applying that in the first frame i'm just turning everything on okay and uh, go back to paint property inside transform pull down menu select layer one all this process definitely resembles using auto paint to this point it's exactly the same but now it's going to be a bit different so all done let's take the clone tool now we have painted frame one and now frame two i'll reset everything fourth frame is fine for removing this wire from frame two i will type in frame four now now if you turn on audience skin overlay uh, it's not perfectly matched but if you just turn on source match move here now if you see reference frame is definitely matching right over here so i can simply paint and now frame one and two is done go into frame three i'm not gonna adjust anything right over here if you just uh, turn on onion skin you can see this frame is also matched almost there like 90 percent maybe just a few adjustments i'm gonna remove it again maybe this as well what is that yep remove that let's go into frame 12 a rope is just right over here i don't have to do anything just use the perfect reference frame for me this looks perfect it's 14 frame my track can be improved a bit i don't have to worry a lot i can just simply paint and go every frame this technique definitely helps you to paint out ropes or wires in any shots not that easy but definitely it helps to reduce your work one more frame i know my track was not that great so definitely match this a uh, little more accurate and uh, now let's paint and see yep so this is all about using match move for wire removal task this is just basic you can track different objects different areas separately and use that as different match move source it's all about analyzing the footage and using the perfect technique wherever you have to so like always i hope this tutorial is super useful to every one of you if you have learned something from this please hit that like button and let me know in comments if you have any feedbacks or any suggestions so until my next video it's my note signing off thank you for watching